Well, I just heard one of the most disgraceful things I think I've ever heard in the NHL. Uh, Yes, the Oilers lost to the Dallas Stars Saturday night in a 3-1 deciding factor. Um, This was game two of uh, round three of the Stanley Cup playoffs, the Western Conference Final. Now, I know a lot of people, they know I'm a big Oilers fan, and what I have just heard this morning, waking up, about the La Bamba situation in Dallas is absolutely and inequivocally disgraceful from the team of Dallas. This is something that is sacred. This was something to honor people that have passed away. And they play the song in order to troll Edmonton Oilers and their fans over the situation. This is beyond disgraceful and something that the NHL better step in on. Connor, can you talk about the importance of the, the win song that you chose as a team tonight with uh, La Bamba, obviously Joey's favorite tune? Yeah, I think uh, you know it's pretty fitting with, uh, with Joe and, and, and his legacy here in Edmonton. And, you know, obviously it's a song that, uh, that's pretty close to, to, to our hearts. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's something that, uh, that means a lot to us. And, and uh, you know, every time we win... No one liked a, a win better than Joey Moss, so um, you know it's a good, uh, good little tribute to him. Not only is it a tribute to the one, the late Joey Moss, an absolute legend in the NHL, he was the guy, the equipment manager behind the bench for the Empton Oilers back in the 80s when Wayne Gretzky brought him in there. Joey Moss also had uh, Down syndrome, and he he didn't care. He didn't care about anything that is going on around him. And when Oilers won, La Bamba was his favorite song, and it was something that was played. On top of that, in the last few years, Ben Stelter, a uh, a kid, taken from us way too damn early. Uh, for a kid, he was diagnosed with a very rare form of cancer, had to go through crazy tests, but he, his, the energy behind the reason for La Bamba is absolutely sac- sacred. And what Dallas just did by playing the song after they went against the Oilers in order to troll the Oilers because it's going to be a long series, it's absolutely disgraceful beyond disgraceful this comes from oilers nation dallas stars play oilers victory song la bomba after game two win the dallas stars tried their hand at trolling empton oilers on saturday night after a 3-1 win in game two by playing their win song la bomba after their own win dallas scored the go-ahead goal early in the third thanks to marson march marchman as alice lindren added an empty net to seal the game. As noted ESPN's Ryan Clark, the song made famous by Richie Valens and later Los Lobos rang out in the Americans Airline Center. While trying to troll opposing teams and fans is nothing new today, the song has much more meaning to Edmonton than just being their win song. If it first had meaning for the Oilers dating back to the 1980s when Joey Moss, a dressing room attendant for the team down with Down syndrome, began working for the team. La Bamba was his favorite song. And in 2021, Oilers Nation, the nation Dan began campaigning the Oilers to use the club's goal song as a way to honor Moss's legacy. That became reality when the opening night in the 2021-22 season, following a 3-2 win over the Vancouver Canucks, La Bamba ran through Rogers Place, not as the goal song, but as the victory song. It took on a whole new meaning, too, when late Oilers superfan Ben Stelter, who died at the age of six, in August 22, started playing Play La Bamba Baby. Play La Bamba Baby! He quickly went viral in Edmonton's market. And when the battled gibbostoma, a type of brain cancer, the organization welcomed him, the team, uh, around the team, as one of his own a year after his diagnosis. Ben's father, Mike, was diagnosed with cancer later than a year after his son's passing. The song clearly transcends hockey in Edmonton and Dallas playing its best, at best, a misinformed move, and at worst, a pantly attempt to get under the opponent's skin.
Nonetheless, it's not a good look, doubtedly so, considering Saturday saw the NHL feature Steltler's family and Ben's battle with cancer. Steltler's family continues to inspire to fight against cancer. This is absolutely beyond disgraceful. Absolutely beyond disgraceful of the Dallas Stars. To celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Hockey Fights Cancer, the NHL shared stories of those in the hockey world impacted by the disease on the 25th of each month, all season long. Today, the story of Mike Stelzer and his son, Edmonton Oilers superfan Ben Stelzer. It's almost impossible to comprehend that what the Stelter family has been through. It's nearly an impossible to calculate. The impact had no had on the fight against cancer. Ben Stelter became the inspiration for Connor McDavid, the Edmonton Oilers, and the entire hockey community to battle gibloblastoma, a type of brain cancer. By the way, this is dated the day of the game. His post-game victory, Play La Bamba Baby, became a rallying cry for the Oilers fans everywhere four months after his death on August 9th, 2022, at the age of six. The Ben Stelter Foundation was formed with the focus on providing magical experiences for kids with cancer, providing needed medical equipment at home, and supporting medical research. While the fight wasn't over, in March 2023, Ben's dad, Mike, started feeling intense pain, back pain, with some tingling down his leg. I went to the doctor, Mike Stelter said, it seemed like it was a possibility I slipped a disc or something down my back. Every, But every treatment we were trying was either not helping or making it worse. I finally had an MRI done, and that's when I realized a tumor was forming on his spine. He was diagnosed with uh, scarcoma. To combat the cancer, Stelter needs to undergo proton therapy, a more accurate way of combating cancer cells in the body. But there was a problem. The treatment was not available anywhere in Canada. In fact, he would need to travel to Robert's Proton Therapy in the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, more than 2,000 miles away to fight his cancer. He would need to go eight weeks, leaving behind his wife, Leah and his daughters, Dylan and Emily. This move by the Dallas Stars is absolutely beyond disgraceful. The Dallas Stars need to come out and apologize over this. Um, I get trolling care. I, I get trolling the other uh, opposing team. I get it. But some things are just sacred. And this is one of those. And this is crossing a line. This is completely crossing a line. I... It, I, I've seen posts now, people saying, oh, it's nothing. You, they're, they're just doing this to troll. No, there's way more meaning behind this. And it's absolutely maddening. And it, I, I, I'm lost for words that they thought this was a good idea. The, the, this is going to, the, this just screams bad. Ben was diagnosed with glioblastoma uh, two months before his fifth birthday. As a stage four brain cancer, glioblastoma is very difficult to treat and highly aggressive. At the same time, he was his regular happy self. We would watch hockey games together and he would cheer for his favorite player, Connor McDavid. End this video off. I'm going to put the link to the Ben Stelter Foundation in the uh, comments down below. Go take a look at it. Uh, if you can, try and send anything their way. It's absolutely disgraceful for the stars to do this, but... Let's turn it into a win. Let's uh, let's turn this around. Let's uh, continue doing what we do best and just keep uh, the season going. Let's go Oilers! Fight for Ben! And thank you for watching. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Little mama, baby. You guys are